Hey everyone, it's Will and James. Ever since the finale of The Amazing Race, a lot of you have reached out asking us questions about the casting process. So we decided it's time to talk about it and show you our audition video. It's no secret that I have auditioned for The Amazing Race nine times total. The first time was the family edition way back in the day. And then I auditioned with my mom, my dad, my sister, a best friend, a roommate. And then Will and I started dating, so we auditioned a total of three times together. This time, it was early 2018 when we made this video that we submitted to the casting process. It was originally for season 31, and then we were told it would ultimately be season 32. Moral of the story is that I'm a firm believer in timing. Clearly, it took a lot of applications to finally get that phone call, and it ended up working out at the right time in our lives. But the secret to an audition video is to really just be yourself. Unapologetically, you. The good, the bad, the ugly. You want to showcase everything about you and your relationship. Which is so much easier said than done, <laughs> I think. Sitting in front of a camera and talking about yourself is one thing that I really hate to do. But when you're a super fan like James and you really <laughs> want something really bad, it feels a little bit more organic to talk about yourself and talk about something you're super passionate about. So in our audition video, we really wanted to capture every single aspect of our relationship. The bickering that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, the life experiences we've had together, the ups and downs of our relationship, what we were doing in our lives at that point in time. I was in grad school, you were working full-time. There was a lot of things that we wanted to showcase and really encapsulate our relationship in like three to four minutes. And obviously, it's up to you to make the audition video. Make it your own, make it unique. Go through your camera roll on your phone and find really ridiculous videos of you and your partner that you can put in to really show what you're talking about. The more you share, the better. Yeah. So without further ado, here is our official Amazing Race audition video. Hi, Amazing Race. I'm James Wallington. I'm 28 years old. I work as a talent assistant and I'm originally from Grand Rapids, Michigan. And I'm Will Jardo. I'm 27 years old. I'm a graduate student at USC and I'm originally from Nederland, Texas. But we both currently live in Los Angeles, California. We've been dating for four years and living together for three. And I think living together has been a huge thing for our relationship. And four years later, I think we've had a lot of life experience together that we have grown in our relationship. And so we understand each other really really well i think another thing i really love about our relationship is that we're not afraid to make fun of each other will loves to embarrass me like that is something it's, it's your mission in life to just do. embarrass me pick on me you're not gonna wear a fanny pack in the philippines yes i am no one is gonna want to be around you i think one of the most profound moments of our relationship today is that i'm adopted and i've always wondered who my birth mother was throughout the entire process will has been by my side we found out who my birth mother was we found out she was married to a woman. One thing leads to another and we're flying to Atlanta and meeting her at the gate in the airport. I think I cried more than James did <laughs> because of how emotional it was watching them meet for the first time. Are you getting emotional? <laughs> Babe. It was just very beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, it definitely solidified our relationship. I recently started grad school, which puts me at a very strange schedule, and then I work at nighttime. And James has a Opposite job from schedule. 8 to 5, so we don't really see each other a whole lot during the week. So our outlet that we've made for ourselves to spend more time together is to travel. We call ourselves the backpacking boyfriends, and we just, we really have a lot of fun when we travel together. And I, the, this quote by Bill Murray has always resonated in me. If you love someone, travel the world with them. If you come back and you're still in love, get married at the airport, and I'm still waiting for that to happen. <laughs> That's the assumption that I'm gonna propose to James. You told me from the moment we started dating that when we get married, you are gonna be the one to propose. That's true. I would probably lose the ring. I'm forgetful. But we're in this huge transitional period of our relationship because we do wanna get married and we've always talked about the four year mark is like when it will happen. <laughs> just because that's like that's a good, good chunk of time yeah. to be together. And I think racing around the world will open our eyes to every aspect of each other that works, that doesn't work, that we need to improve upon, because we already know that we have a lot of communication <laughs> issues, issues that we work on constantly. Our communication styles are just very different. He can have a very harsh, sassy tone of voice, and even if it has nothing to do with me, I 
get pretty defensive. I automatically get a wall way. and get stand. What? You take it the wrong way. Well, I mean, when you have a tone, of course I'm gonna take it the wrong way. I'm not gonna hit your eyeball. I'm gonna poke this in your eye if you don't <laughs> stop. It's not you. I trust you. I Fine, just... I'm done. Wait, do it again. I'm done. Wait. Did Let's you really... see what you did look. Did you like. not finish? No, I'm done. Wait, well. James, on the other hand, will make any situation and flip it and make it about himself. The way he approaches that can just turn me off. It's just the approach. Approach and delivery. We'll work on it. High five. I think when it comes to competition, it can get a little competitive between the two of us. Whenever we have game night with friends, it's usually me Will against versus James. me. I don't even really know why that happens. I just really like to win. If you don't make it on your first try, I win. Wait. <laughs> that was dumb. That's not even fair. I like to win too, but and he doesn't like if I'm winning. <laughs> I like to beat everybody. But I win. I win. I win. Oh. Our competitive edge with each other is actually going to push us and help us succeed in the race. Yeah, I'm not with some lose. hiccups, I'm, I'm sure. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> that was my pee pee. We're gonna be the fun, like, loving, oh, we're just like, the rainbow know, the boyfriend, people. the rainbow people, <laughs> that people are gonna underestimate what we really bring to the table. And I, and I want that going into the race. I think it's important that people don't know how competitive we are. I think it's important for people not to realize that we are the type of team that will use the U-turn. I mean, it's a million dollars. And for us, there's a lot at stake when it comes to the prize money. Obviously, that's marriage. I don't think we're financially capable of making the next step in our relationship. We want to move out of LA. Yes. We want to start a family. We want to yes. get married. We want to do all these things. And a lot of it has to do with money, being financially stable. I am a huge fan of The Amazing Race. Super fan, actually. I've never missed an episode. I've been watching it since the very first season. So we're trying to find where they filmed final leg of The Amazing Race at Papa Go Park. It was season four. I know these things. What's on your head? I'm just sweating, so I'm trying to absorb sweat. I have a really fun fact. <laughs> Probably because I'm a nerd. Amazing race. Yeah, season nine. Season, season nine. nine. This, this is the finish so... line for season nine. Oh wow! Finish what nine. if somebody fell? Season nine. when they were running to win a million dollars. Well, you have a million dollars for hospital bills. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine running this race with anyone but Will. Sorry, I'm a big emotional person. <laughs> like, I want this so bad for us. We have made such a strong foundation for our relationship that this would only make it stronger. You're the ideal partner. You're everything. You're my person. Mm. <laughs> You're so cute. I just want it so bad. I'm gonna go after that million dollars because I want our lives to change and I'm ready to There's settle no down. Other option. Yeah, we, we need to win. <laughs> So pick us for the amazing race. We want this more than probably anybody else. And the moment Phil says go, we're off and running, guns are blazing, and we're not gonna stop until we get the million dollars. You're looking at the next winners of Amazing Race season 31. Oh, I almost flicked it off. 31. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was the audition video that got us the first round of phone calls and got us on the show. So I hope you really enjoyed it and saw a little bit more into our relationship uh, throughout the casting process. And as much as we've said, talk about your relationship, it's also so important to know the show. So go back, do your homework, and get yourself into that headspace. And if you're a fan like me who has been dying to be at the starting line and to hear Phil say those words, the world is waiting, then keep applying. Don't ever give up. Dreams do come true and anything is possible. Mm -hmm.